Traveler, you've come at a good time. Wait, this sounds like another commission. <laughs> it is as you say. The commission this time around is of high importance. It pertains to the safety of the Avidia Forest's inhabitants. Huh? What happened? Not long ago, we received word that a section of the Avidia Forest seems to have become... contaminated. Contaminated? You mean... a new withering zone? I don't know about the specifics, but I hear that strange things are happening to people who cross through that region. The Avidia Forest's inhabitants won't leave their homes so easily. If we allow this contaminated region to expand, the consequences could be unimaginable. That's why I want to ask you to investigate the situation. Even if all you can do is stop the contamination from spreading, that will still save many people. This is forest business. Hmm. Maybe Tainari will know something. Let's go find him! I will hold my head up high I won't hesitate no more I will find the strength so I can be the one Right by your side Don't give up, hope shining I won't be afraid I'm gonna carry on Oh, oh. I used to think there's no way That I could become someone who you look just know now I will be there to protect you No matter what will happen All the tears that we have shed They show us that we have the strength we need So let's go and face our fears Even though it gets so hard To believe in our shared dreams We can't let the hardships overwhelm And surprises easily Just as long as we endure on this journey together We will find that if we don't give up We'll get just what we need As we see the source of light Of our future shining bright We will find that tears and hardships Start to fade for you and me I won't hesitate no more And I'll hold my head up high All the wonders of this world I see when you're here next to me In Tainari? Hmm. That's. Shh. Keep your voice down. Tainari? Everything's spinning. Am I going to die? <laughs> tell Mom that I should have listened to her. And tell Suna that I'm sorry for breaking her toy. I didn't tell her because I was scared that she wouldn't play with me anymore. Tainari? I heard that people turn into birds after they die. Is that true? I feel like I'm getting lighter. What happened? Tainari, is he? Okay, okay, enough nonsense. You just have a small fever. Take your medication and rest. You'll be bouncing off the walls in no time. Really? Then... Can you keep the thing about the toy a secret for now? No can do. You're a big kid now. Once you've recovered, go and apologize. Keeping secrets to yourself won't solve anything. Oh. Hey, let me ask you something. I recall that you're usually pretty healthy. How did you get this sick all of a sudden? I don't know either. Mom's been telling me not to play in the forest. I just wanted to look inside. It's different from before. I got lost and went around in a huge circle. After I got out, I, I started feeling dizzy. Could it be? Hmm. So that's how this whole mess happened. Anyway, go rest. No running around until I say so, got it? Traveler, Paimon. Let's step out for now. Mr. Forest Watcher, how is my son? I gave him some antipyretics. Let him rest here for a while. I told him that he would feel better after some medicine and rest, but 
I only said that to comfort him. His symptoms resemble a fever, but something else is causing them. They seem more akin to a disruption in his psyche. Antipyretics won't be of much use. What do we do? Mr. Forest Watcher, you have to help him. If memory serves, a plant called Vasanti grass can help soothe the mind. A small number grow in arid deserts. They usually look like shriveled weeds, but can be revitalized with a splash of water. They're expensive and unable to grow in the Avidya forest's climate, so I don't have any on hand. I'll ask the caravans. Go find Kale, have her prepare medicinal tools, and a set of traveling gear for me. All right. Thank you. Contaminated region, huh? Is that why you two are also here? Yep. Is it a new withering zone? Doesn't seem like one. Whether you look at scale, internal conditions, or resultant effects, they're completely different. The only thing they have in common is that they aren't welcome. This nuisance made itself home in the Avidya forest, so I can't turn a blind eye. We feel the same way. All right. Let's contact the caravans first and purchase some Vasanti grass. We can also ask about the contaminated region. There's no time to waste. We have to move quickly. Let's go. Excuse me, I'd like to purchase some Vasanti grass. Do you have any? <sighs> I'm sorry, Mr. Forest Watcher, but we've been closed for the past few days. Closed? Now that's odd. It's my first time hearing you say something like that. Uh, it's a long story. Some of our goods were stolen recently. They were mechanical parts that we got from the Academia. Although they're old models, they still fetch a good price on the market. Our caravans had to pull together Mora to afford those parts. Now that they've been lost, we'll likely come up short this trip. All the merchants talked it over, and we decided to raise the prices of our remaining inventory. Until this plan takes effect, none of us can privately sell anything. I don't get it. If these goods are so important, then why not think of a way to get them back? Raising prices won't solve anything. At best, you're shoving the consequences of the robbery onto your customers. Mr. Forest Watcher, it's not that we don't want to. It's just the thief disappeared into the deepest parts of the forest. We asked around, and apparently the forest has been very unusual as of late. Anyone who goes in experiences mental anomalies. We can't keep waiting out here for the thief to come out. All we could do is come up with another solution. So the bandit hid in the contaminated region after stealing those mechanical parts. How many people were there in total? Were they not affected by the contaminated region? That crook came from the contaminated region. As for how many, uh, there weren't any people. No people? Uh, even if I tell you, you might not believe me. Uh, oh, fine. The thief that stole our parts was a huge mechanical crab. What the heck? The Avidia Forest has creatures like that? Uh, to be honest, I'd rather not think about it. It moved too skillfully to be new at this. It came out of nowhere. Before we could react, it swiped our goods and ran away. We were all shocked. By the time we came to our senses, the thief was already long gone. I see. If we help you retrieve your stolen goods, then business will return to normal? Oh, but of course! Uh, not only that, but you'll become one of our caravan's VIPs on all future purchases of any... Uh... Enough. Tell me something that's actually useful. Any leads on that mechanical crab? Maybe one. After our goods were stolen, we specifically got someone to assess the situation. If you're interested, you can go and talk to them. All right. We'll go and have a word. After the goods were stolen, I made multiple inquiries with nearby caravans and residents. It turns out that many others have also been robbed by that crooked crab. However, the crab only seems to be interested in machinery. It doesn't even bat an eye at other valuables. 
A caravan carrying a large amount of Mora had an uneventful trip, but another caravan had a child whose metal toy was taken. Whatever the case, that thing is a scourge. We'll eventually think of a way to get rid of it. That mechanical crab is fast, strong, and a pain to deal with. Ten of us might not even be able to take that thing head on. Didn't academia ban research on mechanical life forms years ago? Where did that thing come from? Our salaries even got slashed because of it. Ugh. Who would have thought that that robber wasn't a human, but a mechanical crab? This is rough. I heard from the caravanners that there have been a lot of robberies lately, but we haven't been affected. We don't normally see the mechanical crab, and it doesn't disturb our daily lives. It only shows up when the caravans are here, and it runs back to the contaminated region after it's done making a mess. You haven't tried capturing it? We have, but it's too agile and fast. However, we did unexpectedly learn something the last time we tried to capture it. It apparently lives in the deepest part of the forest, so instead of immediately moving its spoils, it first hides them nearby. Once its stash grows large enough, it moves everything in one go. You'll have to move fast if you want those goods back. How are things? Did you make any progress? We learned of its behaviors, but much still remains unclear. Assuming normal operational status, mechanical constructs generally act according to their given commands. If I were its owner, I'd command it to steal more valuable things. Or the mora you made. That would be the most efficient method. But it only goes after mechanical components. This doesn't make any sense. Right. It's really weird. So you all found a way to retrieve our goods? Do you have any more mechanical parts with you? Yes, I still have a small bag of samples. They weren't taken since I keep them on me at all times. Oh, are you planning to... Under constant external conditions, organisms rarely initiate changes in their habits. Here's what we know so far. It has a mechanical composition, it lives in the contaminated region, and it comes out to steal mechanical components. If we have said components, we can lure it out, capture it, and then make observations for further conclusions. Hmm, well, chatting like this won't get us anywhere. We're only wasting time. You're right. We don't have any other options right now. This bag of samples is all yours, Mr. Forest Watcher. If you can get our goods back, the caravans will reward you generously. We don't need anything in return, but I'll be keeping this bag. I may have other uses for it later. We'll also need to borrow a Sumter Beast. Our act has to be convincing if we want the crab to fall for it. Oh, yeah, no problem at all. If it means getting our things back, you can even borrow me to do whatever you need. <laughs> I'll have to decline that offer. Anyway, we'll use the mechanical components and Sumter Beast to pose as a transiting caravan and lure out the crab. Once it appears, capture it. I leave the timing to you. Don't worry, we're professionals. Looking at the trade routes and the contaminated region's current perimeter, the goods were likely stolen somewhere around here. Now let's get to it! We'll definitely capture that criminal crab! Okay. We'll start from here and have the Sumter Beast with the components on board lead the way. This Sumter Beast isn't familiar with us yet, so be calm and take your time with it. The Sumter Beast went ahead! Let's keep up with it! Looks like it's loafing around. Or maybe it's hungry. The caravanners grew disheartened after- All right, it's moving again. Uh, 
Did you hear something? Ah! Is that the mechanical crab the caravan was talking about? It's charging straight at us! It looks strong. Be careful. Scatter! You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. Propagate! Spring forth! Let's spark things up a little. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> Just try to escape this time, you naughty caravan robbing crab! Hey, playing dumb won't save you! Spill it! Why are you stealing so many mechanical parts? Hmm, it doesn't seem capable of comprehending complex questions. Keep an eye on it. I'll search around the area for the caravan's goods. <sighs> I don't know why you're stealing mechanical parts, but they don't belong to you. Stolen items must be returned to their rightful owners. Any objections? You came from the depths of the contaminated region, right? How about you help us with something? If you take us there, I'll give you some mechanical parts as a reward. It reacted! Hmm, we can't be certain yet. Its excitement may be a simple programmed response upon seeing mechanical components. Okay, so you want the crag to lead us into the contaminated region? That's right. The contaminated region has a large and currently expanding perimeter, so it would be difficult to conduct a thorough search. If we charge straight in, we'll get lost like headless pigeons. Also, our new friend here seems to be full of secrets. I've been studying this contaminated region recently, and I have a hypothesis of my own. So to be absolutely safe, it would be best to have a guide lead the way. Paimon gets it now. Um, does this scuttler understand what you're saying? It doesn't have to, as long as it isn't hostile towards us. I gave it some components that it will definitely take back to the contaminated region. So long as it doesn't attack us, we can simply follow along. It seems to be really happy. Listen to me. Wait for us here. No running off. We'll be back soon. If you're still here when we return, I'll give you another mechanical part as a reward. Understood? I'm not sure, but our priorities are to retrieve the mechanical components and to purchase Vasanti grass to make medicine with. We should return, but before we do, we need to set up a few traps. Can't have that crab escaping. Mechanical parts that were stolen! You really got them back for us! Oh, thank you all so very much. I don't know how I can repay you. Wait, didn't you want to purchase Vasanti grass? Uh, don't worry about the price. They're on the house. How many do you need? Two is enough. No, that won't do. Here, I'll throw in some more. No need. I've already received a reward from you. Reward? You mean that bag of mechanical parts? Ah, they aren't worth much compared to this merchandise. But those parts are very useful to me. Just like the Vasanti grass. I retrieved the things you needed, and you gave me what I needed in return. We're even. Oh, and before we go, just a reminder, the forest has an intricate and biodiverse ecosystem. Even if there were no mechanical crabs, other dangers are still present. Take caution on this route. Noted. Thank you all ever so much. Let's return to the village. The earlier we can give the child medicine, the sooner he'll start feeling better. <gasps> oh! Hi there, Traveler and Paimon! Master! I prepared the pharmaceutical equipment. Do you need me to help grind the medicine? No need. A precise dosage is required this time. 
so I'll do it myself. Oh, okay. But once I'm done, you can deliver the medication to the child. He gets a little nervous when I'm around for too long. I don't think he finds me very approachable. I'll go prepare the medication. Traveler, give me a hand. How is he? Doing any better? <sighs> I feel like he's doing a lot better. And his temperature is returning to normal. That's wonderful! Oh yeah. He asked me to tell you that Suna came by earlier, and he told her everything about the toy. Suna didn't get mad, so he wanted to thank you. Uh, can I ask what happened? It's nothing. Did you prepare the traveling gear I asked you to? Of course I did! Are you going somewhere far away? Yes, we're going to the contaminated region. Judging by its size, we will likely have to stay overnight. I'm leaving everything to you while I'm gone. I can't even begin to compare to you. Many things are learned by doing. And once they've been done, you'll realize they weren't as difficult as you once thought they were. Deal with problems as you yourself see fit. You don't have to emulate me. That's right. You'll do great, Kale. All right, then I'll do my best. Master, Traveler, Paimon, take care of yourselves. We'll be all right. You'll understand the reason for this excursion once we arrive at the contaminated region. You put too much confidence in me. Anyway, like you said, things will likely be uneventful. Let's return and find that crab. <sighs> Traps weren't triggered, so it should still be here. Odd. You honored our agreement and waited here until we returned. As such, I'll hold up my end and give you another mechanical part. Keep it safe. I'm not giving you another one if you lose it. Glad you're satisfied. If you want more mechanical parts, take us deeper into the contaminated region. I want to see what happened there. What caused the Avidya forest to become like this? region that everyone's been talking about. Oh, it definitely looks different from normal. It's like really creepy and suffocating. Do you feel unwell at all? Good. It's as I predicted. Elemental power confers a degree of resistance against the contaminated region's influence. How do you know that? I haven't entered the contaminated region for a proper investigation but I've conducted quite a few controlled experiments. My observations during our time here have all but confirmed my hypothesis. Look at these flowers. How are they different from normal? This flower species is formally known as the Sumeru Rose, but it is also known as the Ley Line Lodestar. They're sensitive to ley lines and emit varying amounts of light in response. Excessive brightness indicates a dangerous level of ley line activity in the surrounding area. From the looks of things, the ley lines around here are already out of control. You're saying the contamination here is coming from ley lines? I can't confirm that right now, but I think that is the case. Let's take another look around and see if we can discover more clues. used to chirp really loudly, and there were a lot of foxes. 
This contaminated region currently appears to have a critical efflux of ley line energy, which is probably the root cause of the patient's cognitive disturbances. Some animals have keen awareness. They sensed something abnormal in this area and fled. Leaky ley line sure can cause a lot of damage, huh? Like how plants have preferred growth conditions, we also gradually habituate to our surrounding environment. Climate, temperature, humidity, intensity of ley line energies. When people live under fixed conditions, they reach a sort of homeostasis with their environment. This equilibrium is broken when the surrounding environment abruptly changes, causing people's bodies to react in abnormal ways. If normal fluctuations in temperature occur, then our bodies automatically adjust. However, the average person cannot adapt to changes in ley line energy, and so they fall ill. Then why are we okay? I'm not sure why you are, but... He and I are fine because our elemental capabilities allow us to adapt to this kind of change. Of course, it's not a good idea to spend too much time in areas with concentrated ley line energy. The only one who can freely traverse this place is probably the mechanical crab. That's about it for the investigation. Help me find an open space. I want to test something. Environment, no wind. Target parameters, normal. Setup complete. Excellent. Looks like it's working. What's this? A purification device that I made. It can absorb excess ley line energy and temporarily stabilize an area. What a neat thing! Let's set up more and cover the entire region! I wouldn't mind if that would actually work. Unfortunately, once this contamination is present, it isn't something that a few purification devices can fix. The purification devices have their limits. At best, they can only prevent the contaminated region from expanding temporarily. If we want to permanently eradicate the contamination from the ley line effluence, we'll need to tackle the source. That's right. The mechanical crab is acting a little strange. Something's approaching. So that's it. Now that the ley line energy has stabilized, the monsters that had left are starting to return. Get rid of them quickly. Don't let them get close to the purification device. Scatter! Huh? <laughs> Come a little closer. You're in for a little sh Let's dance. Come a little closer. You've been a naughty boy. Whew. That's all of them. Hey! Where are you? Wait for us! Let's hurry and keep up. Injuries are superficial. Don't move, I'll patch you up. What? 
D who are you all? W what happened to those mechanical monsters? Don't worry, we took care of them. Oh, good. <laughs> That's uh, good. Uh, it's a monster! <laughs> Hurry, attack it! How do we explain this? Uh, Krabby here isn't a bad guy. It heard you shouting for help and brought us here to rescue you. It's faking it. It has to be. Maybe it's going to partner up with the other mechanical monsters and kill me. Do you know what's inside the forest? It's all... It's, it's all crawling with mechanical freaks. I just came here to pick herbs. But I accidentally went to the contaminated region and almost died. Hmm. I gotta get out of here. Ah, oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> I have to escape. <laughs> Be careful. These mechanical life forms are up to no good. It'd be best if you stayed far, far away from them. Uh, no wonder the Academia wanted to completely ban the existence of mechanical life forms. Uh, those things should be annihilated. Uh, are you okay? His inarticulate speech and bodily tremors indicate psyche disruption. He's been inside the contaminated region for too long. We've purified the ley line energy over there. Follow this path out and you'll soon see the village. At that point, someone will bring him to Kale for help. I already prepared medication that will return him to normal. Hmm... So you think you did a good job and want a part as your reward? It's so hard to understand! Alright, regardless of what you're thinking, you did some real good this time. That's why I'll give you another mechanical part. Need any help with it? Guess not. Well, make sure to hang on to it. <sighs> what was going through your owner's mind when he made you, I wonder? You're like a giant mechanical crab on the outside and a fluffy little hamster on the inside. And also, how do you feel about that person saying that you're as evil as the other mechanical life forms? Okay, it definitely doesn't understand you. It seems like it possesses limited understanding only towards matters related to mechanical components. Help others to get parts. That's probably its thought process. As for why it, or rather its owner, is collecting so many components, I'm not sure. It's getting late, so let's set up camp for the night. We'll explore further tomorrow, after a night's rest. Let's set up camp here. All right, Paimon also thinks it's a good spot. Oh, any particular reason? This place is perfect to put up a big tent. We can also set up a cooking pot and cook tons of delicious food. You're not wrong, but the primary reason for choosing this place is because its higher elevation keeps us away from the water vapor below. Rainforests are very wet. You should always be careful when spending the night in damp places. For the next tasks at hand, let's divide and conquer. I'll set up the tent, you'll be in charge of making the fire, and Paimon will forage for edibles nearby. Leave it to Paimon. Paimon's a pro. I'm not expecting that much. Just do what you can. That's right! You can use rushes to start a fire in the wilderness. Their pits are relatively dry and can be readily set aflame. The downside is that they produce a lot of smoke. Traveler, Tainari, Paimon couldn't find any food. Paimon didn't know that rainforest had so many interesting plants until we came here. There were all sort of weird-looking mushrooms, but Paimon didn't know which ones were edible. Paimon also saw wild berries on the ground, and Paimon was gonna fly over and pick them up, but the dead leaves on top suddenly started moving. It freaked Paimon out. Those were probably dead leaf butterflies. They camouflage as dead leaves to evade predators. 
My guess is that they mistook you for a bird when you flew over, so they fled. <laughs> Little did they know that you were more scared than they were. Never mind. The tent's up, so you two go rest. I'll forage for food. Oh, you found some already. Sorry, no part this time. That task wasn't important enough. If every little thing resulted in a reward, then it might start to take advantage of the system. I'll note little things like this and give a cumulative reward at a later time. Ahem, <clears throat> that is one reason. It looks really sad. <sighs> After some further thought, it might come up with some weird misunderstanding if I don't give it something. All right, here's another for you. I'm off to prepare dinner. We'll take shifts on lookout duty tonight. You two can sleep first. I'll wake you up later. We need lookouts? Yes. Even though most animals fled because of the ley lines, we can't completely let down our guard. It's settled then. I'll set up some pest repelling devices so poisonous insects don't come crawling into the tent. Have a good night. Not too good, though. Sumter bees are adorable. Paimon likes how the people who keep them give them each a special name based on their most distinctive traits. For all we know, the Sumter bees might be giving each of us a name in return. Maybe that's how they respond when we call their name. Really? So what kind of name do you think they'd give us? <sighs> How is anyone supposed to understand that? A rough translation would be Vociferous Pestiferous Molliculous Nivius Microbipedal. That's the scientific name, of course. Oh? What would the common name be then? Noisy two-legged critter. Hey! Why keep only the negative trait? 